Hello friends, it's your buddy Nick here with Game With The Guys. We are creating Tadpole in Dark Souls 3. Yes, it is finally here. Oh. The stance is slightly different for men and women, okay. So, age, um, let's, only appearance, okay, well, I'll do young, class, let's take a look at the different classes here. An obscure knight of poor renown, who collapsed roaming the land, sturdy, owing to high vitality and stout armor. Um, oh, I can do that, reset the camera. No, I wanted to do... I wanted to do explanation there, but... Um... Anyway, I was just hoping it would kind of go through and... Like on previous ones where we could kind of click on different stuff, but... Um, that is your knight. Obviously high vitality, high strength... Pretty solid decks. I'm wondering what luck is going to have in store for us in this. Is it really going to be that big of a thing? Um, or is it one that we can completely disregard? Moving on. The mercenary and veteran of the battlefield. High dexterity allows masterful wielding of dual scimitars. And, oh my god, it looks so good. <laughs> You see the scimitar in the hand and then one in the hip there. And pretty cool looking armor. Like, this looks really good. Uh, the warrior is descendant of northern warriors famed for their brawn. Utilizes high strength to wield heavy, a heavy battle axe. There's the battle axe there. The strength is high. Vigor is high. I forgot to look at the dexterity, so it seems like 16 is kind of going to be your highest stat. I mean, that is really high, though, for a starting stat here. Um, the Herald, the former Herald who journeyed to finish a quest undertaken, wields a sturdy spear and employs a gentle restorative miracle. Interesting. So this is kind of Paladin-esque. And let's see, Faith is pretty high, but then... Pretty good balance, other than, you know, obviously your intelligence is low. Endurance is kind of low, but that's okay. Whatever. The Thief. Kind of a chain mail. It, it's kind of shocking that a thief would be wearing any kind of chain, but... A common thief and pitiful deserter wields a dagger intended for backstabs alongside a military-issue bow. Military-issue? Well, I guess uh, the thief probably could have picked that up off of a corpse... Um, stolen it, whatever. It doesn't appear to have any arrows at the moment. Oh, I didn't realize I could kind of change the... You can uh, look up the skirts there. Let's look at the assassin. I, I'm kind of digging this one right here. Oh, you know what I should look at here. I'm sorry, I got ahead of myself. Very high luck, pretty high dex, but other than that, all pretty, uh, pretty balanced. But, oh, level 5. Interesting. This is level 10. I didn't really look at the levels back here. Huh. So, moving on to the Assassin with high attunement and then high dex and then everything else pretty balanced. But high at level 10. An Assassin who stalks their prey from the shadows favors sorceries in addition to thrusting swords. This might be what I go with. Um, mostly because I think I'm going to like having the armor to start. And, you know, Tadpole does like to uh, rock swords and sorceries. Speaking of sorceries, oh, look at that dagger. Level six sorcerer, a loner who left formal academia to pursue further research, commands soul sorceries using high intelligence. Starting off with what appears to be some soul arrows or something of the like. High intelligence 16, high attunement, pretty high luck, and then everything else is just fucking low. Dex is pretty good, though. Dex is pretty good. These are probably what I'm... Oh, man. 
Which one? Which one? Anyway, we'll move on to the Pyromancer, which starts at level 8. Big ol' axe there. And cool looking armor. A Pyromancer from a, re a remote region who manipulates flame. Also an adept close combat warrior who wields a hand axe. And you can see there is some kind of uh, flame orb or something. And then if you look in the equipment, there is definitely... Well, there's a ring. I don't know what that is, but there is a Pyromancer's flame. I'm just looking at this. These do have... Both of these do have a wand to start. So, moving on to Cleric with a chime there. Ooh, I like the look of that. That mace flail or whatever. Um, oops, I forgot to. I just, I'm so excited to look at everything and I'm just like not being patient and looking at the things that I should look at. I'm kind of surprised by the high faith. Well, high faith and high intelligence makes sense if the, if the scaling is going to be the same way that it was in Dark Souls 2. I don't know why I said that like a question, but um, yeah, kind of cool with the uh, those being balanced out and kind of looking very druid-esque. And looking at these shields, like these are different shields, but they all, you know, kind of look similar in shape and size, but very different. Very different looking um, as far as design. High luck, high faith, good strength, good attunement, level seven cleric. A traveling cleric who collapsed from exhaustion channels high faith to cast many and varied miracles. And then you're deprived. Oh, look at that sports bra. That looks really supportive. Um, just a wood plank shield and a club. Tens across the board. Level one. Naked and un uh, and of unknown origin. Either an unfathomable fool in life or was stripped of possessions upon burial. It actually. I mean, if you add all of those up, I feel like that might be higher than some of these other ones. I mean, like, here's the assassin that has, uh, let's see, it has four, five, six levels more than the deprived, but is level 10 instead of level 1. Because, look, attunement plus endurance is 5, plus dexterity is 9. Okay, it's 8 levels more. Right? 9... 10, 9. No, okay, that is right. I My math is just being stupid. Um, oh, man, which one? <laughs> I feel like we can get this armor later and that I might kind of... Oh, I'm so torn. Um... Oh, it starts with a ring. Okay, I gotta do Sorcerer because of that ring. Burial gift. None. Life ring. Uh, ring set with a small red jewel. Raises maximum HP. Divine blessing. That's just a consumable. You can kind of see it um, popping into your uh, inventory. That oh, oh, only two rings, huh? Interesting. Hidden blessing. Pure blessed holy water. Fully restores FP. So that's going to be like your magic points and your weapon art points, I guess. Black firebombs. Another just consumable firebomb charge with a special, bla special a speckle, black powder, an uncouth gift for the departed. A fire gem, material used to upgrade fire weapons more appropriately for a fire, for a warrior than pretty trinkets. Sovereignless soul, the sovereignless soul of one who slept beside you, used to acquire many souls. Interesting. I wonder how many souls that gives you. Resicoid, burial item for good fortune after death, greatly increases item discovery for a short while. <laughs> uh, cracked red eye orb is for online play only and for one use. Become a dark spirit to invade other worlds. Young white branch. Interesting. Branch of a young white birch, perhaps an offering of peace, can be used to blend into environment, but only once. <sighs> it seems like they're all just kind of consumables, except for really the fire gem. Um, I think I'm going to grab this because 
I mean, they all seem just pretty blah. And so this one, I'm just wondering if it has any other properties or how many souls it gives us. Will I pop it right away? I don't know. So, oh, why are I so red? Um, so you can change, oh, let's see. Commoner, the oh so plain face of a commoner. Everyone has imperfections, but a commoner without flaws is a rare creature indeed. The face of a warrior, as if hewn from rock, is its best long whispered in jest. Northerners are born weathered and old. So yeah, the uh, the looks of the characters here are far much, far more like Bloodborne than Dark Souls Two. Dark Souls 2, I felt, was kind of cartoony, and this is a little bit more um, lifelike, I guess. Astora Noble, the features of a true blue blood. Uh, blue of eye and fair of hair. Um, her hair is black. A little reminder of Astora's former glory. Dragon Academy student, intelligent face with fine lines, often ribbed for looking like a prentice. The face of, uh, oh, this is a Karim, uh, Karim Novice. The face of a cheerless cleric of Karim. Novice's use is something of a derogatory term for women of the cloth. Katarina Merrymaker. The large eyes and mouth give the face uh, a look of jubilation from Katarina, known for its zest for life and love for drink. Serpentine Traveler. What is, ugh, like... The, Eyes are just weird. It like too close together. Anyway, an uncommon face defined by its narrow eyes and thin lips. Some praise, uh, some praise it as the visage, the visage of a true dragon. Oh, that's why are your eyes so small? Like this is not normal. A uniquely deformed face. Okay, maybe if I would have read that first. Um, or perhaps merely ugly. Preju <laughs> prejudice births malcontents and malcontents swarm to the great swamps. And this is a great swamp outcast. What? You're green! Loner shadow of death. A lifeless face, almost that of a hollow. Uh, Londor is a realm of those hollows. And of those hollow and old. Erythelian? Oh, this is like gross. It almost looks like one of the Finitos, but the features of the old gods, as if from legend. They say children born like this are fated to be taken to the Boreal Valley. Should probably do... Oh, I gotta change the face, though, but um, these are horrendous. Uh, build. Burly. Very burly. Burly upper body, burly lower body. Small head. Small head is back! Large head. Um, do I want to go... Let's go slim. Very slim is a bit too slim for me. Uh, let's see. Oh, where's the test? with the medium one. Body hair? Ooh, I can make her just jacked. Jacked! Look at those abs! Thick body hair on this woman. Well, I like that you can do body hair, but for a lady. Uh, no, it's good that they could do body hair on a lady, but I don't want it on there. <laughs> oh, I can change the head size. Um, that is your max. So let's make everything small. Wait, what? 
why could I? Why was it bringing my, if I make everything small? Why does it bring everything else? <laughs> I was like looking at the numbers. Um, so yeah, that's weird that it, like these two are kind of connected. It, it won't let you, it won't let you go too small. Um, now let's go completely the opposite way. Let's make everything big. Ooh, you're very, you're a very uh, broad lady. Jacked! Look at those arms. And then uh, head small. Um, yes, I would like to discard those changes. So, oh, oh, okay. This is to, oh, that's to go back. I don't like on the left here how it doesn't really show the, uh, I don't feel like it does a good job showing what the skin tone is. Wow! That is like jet black weird with the hair i'm just checking these out there's a pretty good variety um and then down below it looks like we can really change them up do i want someone that's red tadpole doesn't tend to be red or so pink so very pink um so, yeah, look at this. You can just really, you can just make someone purple or just like the devil, just devilishly red. Um, let's go back. I actually, <laughs> I'm going gonna, gonna to go with this skin, this regular one. Oh, okay, so we can change this. Um, I can give her a little, a little blush there. Some laugh lines. Okay. Interesting. Nose bridge color. I can give her gin blossoms if I want. You can really get in depth there. Uh, no, let's, we'll. Facial detail. Now is there, okay, yeah, we do have similar faces here. I don't think that I'd wanna really the faces seem really flat from from the first, you know, from just straight on. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Um, oh, she's so sad. Uh, I mean, God, it's just, yeah, the face just looks really just kind of odd from straight on. It's just like the face is flat, like the head is round and then like a flat face, but then you turn it. It's just, that's just not the case, but, um, let's see. So we can just make her really old looking and, but very feminine, or we can make her look really masculine. That does look like a man. So do I want to go, What? That is not normal. Okay, we're gonna... No, we're gonna keep that for now. We're gonna do some other weird shit. Um, so... Okay, that's just gonna do all of them. Um, so yeah, I can give Tadpole a beard. So a bearded woman, that's fine. Um, it's good that it's an option. I will probably forego the option, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, I was just thinking, did anybody watch the show The Borgias? But anyway, this looks like the assassin, uh, the hired assassin friend, but, um... Oh, I can change the eyelashes. Um, that's good. Okay, I... I can't, I can't look at this anymore. Let's, uh, let's do, oh no. Oh no, I need to go back further. I need to go back further. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Um, oh no, 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 that's not what I want. Um, face presets. I actually like commoner the best and it doesn't, I don't know if it shows up anywhere. Um, what they are, but, um, 
so let's go back to well let's look at the similar faces to this one um the commoner is i think the most normal looking as far as like that other one these faces don't seem quite as flat for some reason i don't know what the deal was um Was it? Yeah, I think I like this one. Um, do I want to look young? Let's do a little... Oh, why is she turning green? Well, I can change the... Uh, the color, but... Um, Let's start at the beginning. So we got no hair. We got some hair. We got a little bit more hair. Oops, I should... I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I can just hit this button. All right. Little, uh, little punk rock hairdo there. This is very reminiscent of one of the hairdos in Dark Souls. As is this. There's probably many that are, that are carryovers. Wow, that is some scraggly hair eh, not bad kind of uh, it seems that they probably have just the exact same hairdos for mo both men and women um that's probably getting closer to what tadpole usually does all right Oh man, 80s hairband, cool. You got your uh, conservative braid. Oh, and more conservative bun. Ah, this is probably where we're gonna go, but we gotta keep looking. We got the pigtails. A braid across the back. And back to the beginning. Here we go. Hair color. You know what color Tadpole's hair is. That's not white enough for me. We'll start there. Let's go down here. We can get with some of that mermaid hair. Oh, duh. White is not the lack of color. That is black. White is every color. White is maxed out on color. Let's see. I think that I'm probably... Yeah, we're going to go with that. Ooh, eyebrows. What kind of eyebrows do we want? Let's start at zero eyebrows! Yeah, that's kind of normal looking. A little bushier. That's... Kind of thick. Kind of thick for Tadpole. There we go. Groucho marks. That makes her look really pissed. I kind of like that. Whoa! Sexy? Well, those are good. Those are good. We'll probably go that way. Not super different. Just slight differences. Very thin eyebrows there. Whoop. Yep. Yeah. We'll go that way. Brow color. Here we are. Beard. Does Tadpole really need a beard? We're going to go no beard on Tadpole. Eyelashes. Are you ever really going to be able to see the eyelashes? I'll make them as big as possible. And uh, we'll never, ever see the eyelashes. Okay. Um, oh. Interesting. Okay. Pupils. Why? Oh, what? Oh, that's red! <laughs> or I could do just completely dark. Or more normal. Maybe I'll do this, and then I can do... Tadpole always had kind of red eyes. So let's... If we get rid of these other ones... 
There we are. And you can do them separately, it appears. So, oh, I could make... Oh, what? I could do, like, one eye like normal and one eye not normal. <laughs> oh, we're totally going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Cosmetics, huh? Um, Turn around eyes. Let's... I kind of like to do... That's not really... Doesn't really seem to be doing... That's uh, a little bit. I like to do really dark around here. Just to make it look almost like... Deathly. <laughs> um, eyelid brightness. I'm not seeing much of a difference there. Eyelid color. I think maybe if I... Yeah, not really seeing... Let's keep it... Oh, I don't know. Eyeliner. Dark. Light. Because I went so dark around the eyes, you, you don't really see it. But, um... Lipstick. Oh, her face is getting, like, green. More green from all that stuff that I was doing. I can do... Why is your lips turning why are your lips turning green? I need to change her skin tone. Uh Oh, we've got various tattoos right on the forehead. So Oh, I'm sure with the the tweak that we can move it somewhere. Um But these are the different tattoos. Not really showing up so well because of the hair, but that's okay. That's weird. <laughs> we got some... Oh! <laughs> that is awesome! If I was going to keep one, it would be that. But, uh... Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Oh well. One of my other characters will. Oh, that looks like like a summon sign. Yeah, it looks like you can probably change the darkness of them or something. There's so many options. A dragon. I'm sure some of these might have a little bit more. Um, so we can change the color of it. We can make it bright yellow. And we can move it. And you can like put it over here. And we can rotate it. Whoop! Spin it around. We can make it really big! Like, that's actually kind of cool. I might actually do that on a future character. But uh, let's get rid of the tattoo. We're not going to go tattoo for Tadpole. Ugh, what did I... Oh, this base skin color. Why is it... Why are you so... I, you know, I intentionally kind of made her a little bit spooky in the face, but um, for some reason it decided to just keep her face like super green. Well, if I go this way, then you can't see it. Um... Kind of digging that a little bit. Uh, all right. I think that got rid of it. Oh, <laughs> this is looking evil. Give her a little blush. Just a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm digging it. I think I'm digging it. Let's see. What is help? What is help going to give us in here? No, just controls. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for character creation. Um, we're going to get started real soon. Look for that uh, that episode of the first <laughs> the first steps into Dark Souls Three.